the devil, who is the devil in your eyes? Is he also an alien or is it a not a real person, not a real spirit? Who is the devil? Let me tell you what happened. So if you look, you go again into the ancient tablets, you discover that and uh, Yahweh, who's in the Bible is known as God, right? Yahweh is known in the ancient text as Satan, the Lord of Eden, E-D-I-N. The land between the Euphrates and the Tigris rivers is where they had the Eden, E-D-I-N. And when he has his outdoor um, laboratories, what I like to call it, where they discovered that mating these people together would work if they had enough genetic diversity. So what happens is his brother, Ia Enki, who's now known as Satan, he comes in and he starts talking to the people there. And he starts telling them, it wasn't just Adam and Eve he was talking to, there were other people there. And he was telling them how powerful they really were and that uh, the mysteries of the universe was inside of their body and that they had the ability to ascend even to a higher level than even them. And so these people then realized that they weren't animals. They clothed themselves. And by the time this Yahweh character, also known as Enlil, comes back, Satan, he realizes what's happened, that his brother has given them the apple. What's the apple? Knowledge. And so he gets pissed off. And he curses his brother and he tells them, never listen to him again. He's evil. He's the devil. He wants to hurt you. That's where this whole devil thing pops up from. It comes from the Sumerian tablets. Okay? <laughs> That's where it comes from. It comes from the Sumerian tablets. Enki and Enlil, two brothers fighting each other because one brother didn't like what the other brother was doing to people. So what, what, do you, what is your interpretation of people who go... And, you know, go to conferences and they, you know, they look up to the devil and evil. And, you know, there is a religion, right? What is the Satanist, church called? Satanist. Yeah, Satanist. What do you think about them? It's, I don't like it. I mean, you know, and, it, and it's, a, it's all about frequencies. Yeah, and people say, well, you don't believe in God. You're a, uh, you know, atheist. No, I'm not an atheist. I believe there's a God. I believe there's a God. I talk about it in my book, Fractal Holographic Universe, because the evidence, the circumstantial evidence of a creator is all around us, even inside this microphone. Who do you think it is? It's not a who, it's a frequency. I believe that God is a frequency. We have to tune into that frequency. We, have, we understand a couple things through metaphysics. There's a universal consciousness, and there's only one consciousness. We, me, you and I appear to be separate and, and divided apart, but we're not. We're still only one. Ancient Mayan saying, in la kek a la ken, I am just another you. And so there's a radio station broadcasting out frequencies from the universal mind, and it's broken up into point number. I'm 99.1, you're 99.2, he's 99.3. Your, your avatar body is, is designed to encapsulate a point number of that frequency for a temporal amount of time. You're able to encapsulate that frequency of consciousness. So, but it's all coming from one source. It's a frequency. God is a frequency.